And we're back. Try it again with the defect, since that was less than half an hour. Uh, let's see. Like this, maybe? Uh, can't actually hit this fire after this elite. We double fire and then fight these two elites up here. Seems fine. Take the boss swap. Oh, so that's fun. Not bad on the relics. Strike doesn't kill. Once again, take an early streamline for the sake of some damage. Meteor Strike, clumsy. Steam Barrier, genetic algorithm. Shame, I would like to not get shame. That, oh, I have a zap. All right. I would rather have not added a zap to the deck. Oh. <laughs> uh, there... There wasn't an orb there, huh? Yeah, I sure don't have the lightning thing anymore, because I traded it. That's how the relic swap works. Oh, I could have played the zap, but it's unlikely to matter. Chill? Decided not to lose plated armor there. Taken one, but... Fight's going well. Oh, I could have killed if I'd played the other strike instead of the defend, but I saw full block and went for it. Sweeping beam for some AoE. Upgrade streamline still. Maybe upgrade sweeping beam, actually. And one. All right, got him. Ooh, big entropic brew over block potion. Meteor strike is mildly tempting, but. Not really close to being able to play it. I'll take second sweeping beam. Then upgrade the streamline this time. Oh yeah, Matryoshka. Do I burning elite here? I'm pretty strong for act one. Hmm, nothing much to set up. I guess I can fill up on lightning orbs. 
Oh, actually, let's just get Streamline played. Well, play the strike over blocking for the same amount as Ori Calcum. All right, so the plated armor is definitely running down. I shouldn't have played the defend, that lowered my block. Ooh. Take an electrodynamics. And a heal. <laughs> Would have liked the max HP, but I think a heal lets me fight this. Full block this turn <laughs> without blocking. That's neat. Ah. <laughs> um. I'm short one block if I just Electrodynamic Zap. Well, if I do anything that doesn't, doesn't kill this one. Electrodynamic Zap... ...certainly wins next turn. I'll just take the one and do this. <laughs> Killing with chill. Block potion came back. Oh yeah, molten egg. It was like upgraded attacks. Wow. I would like more frost. Like to smith something, probably. Electrodynamics. Actually, that should have probably been like a zap upgrade. Oh, right, ancient tea set. <laughs> nice uh use of bag of marbles there. Let's see, this deals uh nine per turn if I just use it. Alternatively streamline play nothing. <laughs> I think Electrodynamics is better here. And I did think about the fact that the Frost Orb evoking would lower my block, but I still had enough. Uh, is Zap Zap chill a kill? I think it is. That's funny. Alright, very good Gremlin Knob. Bullseye. I think it's takeable here. Only one power, so force field is not it. Upgrade a zap, upgrade a sweeping beam. I think it's upgrade zap. This zap specifically. The one that started in the deck is the one that I like more. Oh, I think I will Strength Potion and then see what's in the Entropic Brew. Uh, 
These are gonna deal four, because I think it'll round down. Okay, you're not splitting, because you're gonna end up with 88. If I hit you again with a strike, that's 80... Wait, I used the strength potion. 80. If I hit with a cold snap, this evokes, so it's actually 16 damage, which would put you at 72, which does split, and it's a pretty bad split. Electrodynamics stronger than dual cast. If I dual cast, I also can strike though. Uh, so the evoke damage is the same, and then nine from passives versus eleven. Oh, but having electrodynamics active is very good. Alright, so both of them are taking 9. They split if I deal 13. So if I just hit them each with a strike... And then they have little enough HP that the fight is won. <laughs> Good thing too, huh? Just in case I mismathed 3 times 3 somehow. Seek is pretty good. Creative AI is also pretty good. It kind of wins boss fights that are about scaling. Um, I don't really have the frost right now to wait on a creative AI, but I could probably find it. I mean, I don't have the focus either. <laughs> uh, just take Seek. I think it's good. Oh boy. Not really liking my choices here. I do already have Emerald Key, so not being able to heal is not quite as bad. I think I'll take Empty Cage though. Far left has a number of fires on it. I would like a shop, though. Like this? Certainly if I want to fire late in the act, I can go for that elite after either shop still. I think it will be something like this. Although if this shop is bad, I can head for this one. You're not attacking. Now you are. Um, maybe I should have Ancient Potion to the Hex so that they would waste another turn reapplying the Hex. Eight plus... Uh, well, it would be 24 with the evokes, and then 6 from passives. That's notably not 53, it's only 33. Uh, playing the defend, though, doesn't do anything.
I don't think I have a possibility for a kill even if I distilled chaos. Although, like, chill cold snap could get me a little block. Um, but not that much. I think I just electrodynamic stool cast. And then the fight's won there. I want a second streamline. It is upgraded because of Molten Egg. Alternatively, Equilibrium. Start playing more defensively. We want to be able to set up against Champ. I'm going to be looking for powers for sure. Playing the defense doesn't do anything. This might be worth it, Distilled Chaos. Oh. <laughs> I guess I could have done that first and then still played the defend. Repair. I didn't take the coffee dripper. Might still be worth grabbing though. Well, I'll take it. And we appear to have not yet found electrodynamics. I already have the block this turn. Bullseye really hurries up this kill. Self repair might be best though. I think I will self repair. I don't think I get to shuffle the deck. Was hoping for like a couple of the zaps last turn. Amplify. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it over chaos. Another self repair. I was hoping for a power that would actually help me scale. Um. Panache? No. I don't I don't think it's Panache. Might need power potion just to beat the boss. And Charge battery or just leave, I'm thinking. I think I'll just leave. Uh, what do I want to seek? Uh, well, it's vulnerable, probably just the Streamline Plus. And play a defend. Bullseye electrodynamics? Probably better than getting out the self repair. Hmm. 
No way to draw cards that doesn't kill it. Would have been nice if I could have tried to amplify self-repair. I get cold snap plus. Okay, we'll get HP here. And go up that way and fight an elite. Seek for, I think, electrodynamics this time. Dealing six. Equilibrium dual cast, hoping to get Amplify with self repair. And putting off playing the chill because I didn't need to evoke the lightning orbs and I delayed getting a daze by one turn. Again, I had the option to use an Ancient Potion to make them Hex again. Didn't do it. Not taking as bad a hit this time though for it. Head full block anyway. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Power potion could have another electrodynamics, which wouldn't actually kill. It could have, although it would get me more block. Um, it could have buffer. Uh. I'll just see what's in it. Hey, there's Buffer. Saved, what, 21 health, but at what cost? Now I don't have it for the champ. Are we desperate enough to reprogram for the champ? I don't even have, like, Barrage. I've been ignoring all of them. <laughs> um, I have multiple cold snaps. I don't, I don't think I take Reprogram. Am I still gonna fight this elite, or am I, like, gonna do something like this? I think I will avoid Act 2 Elites. Seek. Guards becoming twice as good is nice. just play the self-repair. Haven't been finding good opportunities for it lately. Um. Seek the electrodynamics and then amplify it. Sounds fun. And let's see, I don't have the energy to do anything else, nor do I have the equilibrium effect, so I'll take the Ascender's Bane. Oh wait, they're just like dead. 
<laughs> Didn't matter what I picked. Vision. The sequence with anchor seems like overkill. Uh, I'll take a vision. Static discharge. Grab another power potion. I mean, I skipped a reprogram earlier. I'm certainly not going to pay 42 gold for it now. I'll take Barrage Plus, I guess. I don't think I've skipped a Barrage yet. I think I've just been turning it down over other cards. Hey, full block. I can amplify self repair and then still streamline. Drawing Liberage is a bit less good, but I mostly just wanted to play some defense. Alright, Electrodynamics Cold Snap. Bottom. White Noise versus Cool Headed Plus. I think it's actually white noise. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll read. Necronomicon. I would double play Streamline the first time I play it. I was really hoping for one of the other two. I think either would have been good, but I'm I'm skipping here. Meat on the bone. And this has to be rest. I don't think I have a good chance here. We'll see what's in the power potion. Uh, none of those are creative AI. I guess heat sinks. <laughs> Grab the streamline, grab the amplify. So yeah, I, uh, as the defect, wasn't able to find a way to scale before this fight. I guess I'm preventing this hit. I mean, maybe it should have been a 
Reprogram. Oh, if I'd played both defends, that would have been better than or Well, actually, wait, I was frail. I think it would have broken even. Maybe I should have used the Ancient Potion at some point, but somehow I don't think it would have mattered. Alright, I have made as much block as possible. Oh wait, I think there was maybe a way to get dual cast to make more block, but it wouldn't have been enough, even if the Frost Orb had been in front. Alright, well, GG. <laughs> Yeah, 